Wow, you're the proud new owner of a Topfield T6211 HD PVR, and I'm going to help you get it set up and working quick and easy. You're going to enjoy hours of endless entertainment, so let's get that happening. The first step is to connect your TV aerial to the receiver here on the back to the ANT in. Today I'll just be connecting my PVR to a TV. There are a couple of different ways to connect the PVR so we'll run through both. The best and easiest method is to use a HDMI cable but the TV must have a HDMI input. You'll only need the one cable for both video and audio and this is supplied with the PVR. So here we go! From here to here. Easy! Now if your TV doesn't have HDMI input, you can always use composite cables like these. Unfortunately, this will only transmit standard definition and not HD. You'll need to connect the video and sound separately. Yellow is for video and the red and white for audio. Connect each one from here on your PVR to here on your TV matching the colours. If your television or audio video receiver can decode Dolby Digital Audio, you can use an SPDIF cable to connect the sound instead of the composite cables. The digital receiver can also view or record video from an external device such as a DVD player through the connectors. Connect it up using the composite cables as we did with the TV. And now we're ready to plug it in and turn on the TV. Make sure the TV is set for the correct channel. If you used a HDMI cable, it should be set on the HDMI input or composite if you use the RCA cables. Hit the power button on the remote, don't forget the batteries, and you should see something like this. If nothing happens, press the VF button a few times. Our next step will be to perform a channel search which can be easily done by going to the menu and selecting installation. Using the arrow keys on the remote, select searching, press OK and choose search mode. I usually just go with the auto search which can be selected by pressing the right or left button. Use the menu button if you need to go back. I now scroll down to start service search and press OK. Now I go make a cup of tea while it's searching and when I come back it will be all ready to go. Yes! Press OK and exit. Now to use many of the online features you'll need an internet connection. You can either connect an Ethernet cable in here like this or you can use a top field wireless USB dongle to connect wirelessly. Just attach the aerial to the USB and insert it into the USB slot. Now we'll need to set it up. Hit the menu button, go to installation, internet setting. It is preferable to use the DHCP setting. Use the arrow keys on your remote to select the DHCP if it isn't already chosen. If you have to use the static option, you'll have to get the IP address and settings from your router first. Today I'm sticking to DHCP. Scroll down and use the arrow keys to select ON to activate it and it should be good to go. So wasn't that easy? In part two, we'll run through some everyday uses such as using the remote, viewing the program guide, recording and using the time shift. Enjoy your top field T6211 HD PVR and come back anytime to watch the video again.